had plenty this of This is Dr. Dr. Dry. I'm on the run around. from the police. Have a but nice guess day what? You. God bless you. This son. guy right here. This is the most wonderful fella who discovered this absolutely gorgeous <laughs> baby right here. That's the baby. That's the baby. Her name is Azura. That means blue in Italian. I mean, you will not believe what I got sitting on the bus. And we on, got my, nice, on my way to Manhattan. And we got a nice gentleman here who's one of the most politest New Yorkers I've ever met. I thank and you I'm so a, much. And I'm a fellow New Yorker, so that goes uh, without saying. I thank you because Congressman Gregory W. Meeks would love to hear that right about now. And just about every other congressman, that a Democratic congressman that represents I New I think York so, City. buddy, and I thank you, my friend. Give me five. All right, brother. Make sure to vote Obama in 2012. Sure. I campaigned for him. I didn't get invited to the inauguration, but all of the people in Southeast Queens that were against them, they got a chance to go. Democrats will include everybody. I'm voting for oh, them. Oh, I'm the guy that blasted all them Thompson posters all over town. Remember all the Thompson posters out here? I did that and I didn't get paid, but I'm but about you know, to. You know what the funniest thing is? What's that, sir? He came very close <coughs> to, to beating, uh, to be, to beating. Uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I personally don't like uh, Bloomberg, but to, to play devil's advocate, as the expression goes, uh -huh. Thompson, put, uh, for, for, for considering the campaign uh, that he did, uh, that wasn't uh, as. If strenuous. they listen to me, Dr. Phil Dreis that aired the uh, Mother's Day documentary on cable TV, countywide. Uh -huh. And if they were to put it in the other counties on cable they and did the same thing I did in Queens, Thompson would have took it. Thompson would have took it. Sorry. As a matter of fact, it was because I blasted everything on the internet about what I did for Thompson that he ended up paying the $619,000. Well, all, what I do know about Thompson is that it, that even though his campaign wasn't in, shabby, it, it was shabby. It was it was not exactly shabby, but ironically, there was uh, uh, even though Bloomberg won anyway. There was such there was such um, even even though uh, yeah, there, was, uh, dis, there was such disappointment in Bloomberg that even though he uh, he managed to win that that uh, that that uh, there was a very a very tiny percentage difference between him That's right. and Thompson. Thomas Smart uh, Thompson, I mean for uh, Thompson to, uh, to, uh, the, for his credit would have almost would might have almost become New York City's second African American Man. mayor. Give me five. Give me five. Either either one You've heard ready. it from the man that's the man that knows who knows how to pick the prettiest babies. That's the beauty right there. Azura. Either man, either baby. one I be, I'm happy with. But the point is is that is that um I didn't get to vote that election because I was I had a temporary job at the time. Mm -hmm. Um uh, I was trying to see if I could earn some part-time work while getting did while getting my disability. Yeah. But job it didn't work out. Hey. Unfortunately, on the on one of those days that I worked, it happened to be the uh, the uh, November elections uh, where Bloomberg was running for that third term. Yeah. And even though I got back in time that I could have voted, mm -hmm. uh, I, I just didn't was kind of like disappointed. Disappointed is how you can summarize that. Yeah. Neither one of them. Because as much as I did for Thompson, I got snubbed. Congressman Meeks, you endorsed him, and I'm the guy that was reporting all my activities for Thompson to Ida M. Smith in the office of Congressman Meeks. And now you're going to orchestrate some kind of funny bunny, <laughs> false death threat, like Shirley Huntley orchestrated a death threat. And you guys at Southeast Queens, let me tell you something. We might have the same shade, but I'm not a liar like you guys. I'm not such a disappointment as you guys. Now, guess what we're going to do? We're going to have to call it the FBI. I got a White House referral number. Hey, what's happening? Come on in. You see this finger right here? That's a botched operation at the VA hospital. In Manhattan. I'm gonna sit in the back. Take All right, brother, sit in the back. As you can see, sitting in the back of the bus is not just for black people. You all have a nice day. It's Good <coughs> Friday. And, and you're getting what? to film a cute baby. That cute baby's feeding. Wow. Uh, she, she looks like she's a happy Ooh, child. That is a happy baby. Oh yeah, you I'm can see the smile on her face. 
going to the she, dentist. Yeah, she's got a smile right. on her face. Take care of yourself, sir. All right, brother. Bye -bye. Thank you very much. I just Smith, you really screwed up this time. I need for you to go ahead and pony up what it was that I did to you. <laughs> but you had the poison after VA with lithium. You contained the angel food story. You contained the elder abuses. And you did a whole lot more because you knew Rance Huff, the communication director of Councilman Comrie, was a spy for the Thompson campaign where you worked, where I worked with you at the Democratic Club on Linden Boulevard. He's the one that called Rashida to give the information that in fact Bloomberg would be at Allen AME. He, she called that night and told me to go ahead and get him. And she got the, she got the information straight out of the city hall, out of 250 Broadway. That's where Rand's Huff is. <coughs> that's the guy that sent me to Rashida. And y'all were just amazed at what I was able to do all over Queens County for Thompson. And that's why you didn't want me to tell Ida Smith but well, Thompson's spending again. All of your suggestions and all of your stuff that you did, like telling me to go get Malcolm Smith and dog him out in my video of the documentary of endorsing the congressman because you know why? He was pointing the finger at the congressman when the feds were looking for who stole the money with the $33,000. You are busted, baby. You are busted. And Jason Hill, you said so. You became nervous and uh, blah, 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 because I made a phone call. No, I didn't. It was that pile of crap in the toilet bowl and me calling out your name that got the Hotmail account closed and you called the police. False police report. False police report. That's a misdemeanor and that can get you jail time. And guess what? You ain't got nothing to worry about even with your bad back. There's sex in jail for old fat ladies like you. And I just want to give you one more piece of this retaliation thing. This threat you think I am? No! I want you to live long and not prosper. So, engines ain't never, never will be constituted and get their land back. <laughs> I love you.